This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at surface area today and we're going to specifically look at a cylinder. Uh, well, you should understand what a cylinder is. It's kind of like a can of soda or a um, uh, tube-like uh, circles on each end that are parallel to each other and, and connected by this tube. Um, okay, it's kind of like a roll, something being rolled up almost looking at it that way. Of course I've got an image here and the image describes a circle which you can see the circle here at the top. There's a circle there and then there's a circle underneath and then we've got the walls of the cylinder. Alright, for our first example uh, we're going to take a look at a cylinder that has a, let's get my colors right, let's say it has a radius of five meters and let's say that it has uh, a height of three meters. So this is kind of a very large cylinder. All right, so if we're going to calculate the surface area, that means we want to know what is the area of the outside, not the volume of the inside, but what is the area that flows al alongside the outside cylinder, right, the walls, and what are the area of the two circles also. So there are three different uh, faces to this and I use the term face because here's like a curved face being the wall but if we were to you know pop off the two tops or the top I should say which is a circle and we've got our bottom which is a circle here also and if we were to pop off the top and bottom we would have the, just the walls remaining if you were to cut up that wall and then just bend it open it actually would look like a rectangle okay so now of course I'm just drawing this uh, crude drawing and not doing a very good job of it but let's say I've got this crude looking drawing alright two circles and this rectangular piece once we pop open the top of that uh, cylinder okay well what are we going to do to calculate the area? Well, first of all, we have to know what the uh, dimensions are of this, of these uh, faces here. Well, of course, we know that the radius is still the radius. It's 5. And we know the radius of this is 5. 5 meters, of course. Um, all right, well, hmm, how do we find this length? Well, this length turns out to be the distance around a circle. So that's the circumference of a circle. And we know the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. 2 times pi times r. That's going to be the length of this top. Uh, okay, but yeah, I know we know the radius. The radius is 5. So really, this is going to be 2 times pi times 5. Or in other words, that is 10 pi. So I know that the top of this rectangle has a length of 10 pi. And what's the side length? Well, side length is still the same. It's 3. All right, well, how are we going to calculate the area? Okay, well, now let's figure out what is the area of all of these different faces. Okay, well, the area of a circle, because that's what we have here, is pi r squared. Of course, we have lessons on Math Guide. If you don't remember these formulas, just check out MathGuide.com and look at, of course, the lesson for uh, surface area. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, so this has got to have the same area, pi r squared. Uh, let's see, what is the area of a rectangle? Well, we know the area of the rectangle is going to be length times width length times width because it's a rectangle. All right, now let's plug in our information, what we know. Well, let's see. The radius, we know, is 5. Okay, so that'll be the same thing down here. So I'm going to put in a 5. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. What's our length? Let's see, our length we said was 10 pi. And we know that our width is 3. Okay, so let's see. The area of the top is 25 pi, which obviously is the same thing as the bottom. 25 pi. 
All right, and let's see, what do we have here? We got three times 10, that's 30 pi. So what is the total? If I were to figure out what is the total area, total. Well, let's see, I'm gonna add up all these parts, right? The top, the bottom, and the midsection, which is that curved wall. So let's see, 25 and 25, that's 50. 50 plus 30 is 80 pi. Okay, now of course, this answer is written in, in uh, exact. This is an exact answer. And of course, the answer is in terms of pi. Now, uh, what I like to do, of course, is get a decimal approximation because sometimes this is not what we want. Sometimes we want um, an answer that has the uh, decimal answer. So we want to multiply the 80 times pi. And of course, for the approximation purposes, I'm going to use 3.14. So I'm going to multiply all those together. All right, and the answer is 251.2, approximately, of course. That is the approximate answer. All right, um, and it also should be known that when you calculate area, you should put the correct units on here. So uh, the area, of course, is going to be meters squared. So if you don't have that included in your answer, of course, it's not 100% right. Okay, so that takes a look at our example one. We're going to take a look at another example next. All right, here's our uh, second example. So our radius for this second example is going to be 7 inches. And let's say the height is 4 inches. All right, now for this example, what I'm going to do is just use a formula. So I'm going to approach this one a little bit differently than the other one. So the formula for surface area if you remember our last problem, we had the area of a circle was our top. Pi r squared is the area of a circle. Remember, we had a top and bottom, so we have two circles. And for the midsection, the wall, you've got the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r, times the height, because it was a rectangle. So the top was 2 pi r times the height. So what I'm going to do is just use this formula and use the formula to calculate. So I'm going to plug in this information. So we know that the radius is 7. So wherever you see an R, I put the number 7. And wherever there's the height, I put the 4, because it's 4 inches. So now we play cleanup. So let's see, 7 squared, that is 49. So just doing a little bit of simple math here. 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, let's see, 49 times 2, well, let's see, that would be 98. Uh, let's see, 28 times 2, that would be 56. Okay, now we add them together, and we get 154 pi. Okay, so this is what our answer looks like, and of course we would put inches squared, because... It's area. Area is always going to be in square units. All right, next what we'd like to do is not only be able to write our answer as an exact answer in terms of pi, but I'd also like to be able to figure out what is this answer as a decimal value. So if we were to plug in the 3.14, let's see what this would be approximately. So approximately, I'm getting with a calculator, and I'm using a TI Inspire, not that that matters, but 483.56. And of course, this is going to be inches squared also. Okay, so those are the two answers. Exact answer in terms of pi and the decimal answer. I'm sorry, that's not an exact answer. That is rounded to the nearest, well, I guess that would just be, if we were to round it to the nearest tenth, that would be 0 .6, 483.6. Uh, okay, so those are the two answers. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out all our interactive quizzes, our text lessons, and other videos. Take care.